first. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly clean the leaves of your orchid. This pretty much applies to all orchids. Um, this can even apply to some other house plants that have um, firmer leaves and less leaves. That'll be easier to clean. So to start out, you'll need three different things. You will need a paper towel with water and a little bit of dish soap. You'll need a paper towel with just water and then you'll need a dry paper towel. Um, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take the paper towel with some, uh, with some dish soap as well as water and then we're just gonna wipe the leaves thoroughly. It's really okay if you see you know, the, the soap um, foaming up on the leaf. That's actually what's gonna clean it and make it shiny. You can also do this to the underside of the leaf, um, but I have um, my phone in one hand, so I can't really do that. All right, make sure to do it really thoroughly because if you don't, um, then the, the parts of the leaf that you didn't actually get cleaned will stand out. So you want to make sure you get every part of the leaf cleaned. All right, now we'll move to this leaf. Now notice the color of this leaf versus the color of this brand new leaf. See, this one is so much more shiny. So now we'll just repeat the same process for this one. Making sure to get every single spot on the leaf. And you just want to wipe it. You don't really want to scrub it too hard. All right, so now that you have cleaned the leaves, actually, maybe I'll just give a little wipe to this brand new one. Why not? One of the most important things you want to remember is that if you're cleaning um, the top leaves, you don't want to squeeze the paper towel because the water could get down into the crown. I actually have a video about crown rot. I'll um, link it in the description below. All right, so now that you've done that, you wanna take your um, dr your uh, wet paper towel with just water and wipe the leaves once more to get off any of that excess soap that hasn't already evaporated. All right, next one. Now, not only can doing this make the leaf look shinier, but it actually helps it to absorb the sunlight better because the dust isn't really covering the leaf. So photons of light are able to hit the leaf, which allows the leaf to absorb more light. All right, so now that we've got the leaves pretty much all clean, I'm gonna repeat the same process for the underside um, once I finish filming because it's kind of hard to film and kind of do that at the same time. So next, even if your leaves look kind of dry, you'll wanna take your paper towel anyways and just give them a nice dry because this is what will make them really shiny. And keep in mind, if the leaves that you're trying to clean, if, if um, let's say like one or two of the leaves you're trying to clean is really old, um, it may not shine up as much as the newer leaves because of the age. You want to be careful with new leaves that they don't break while you try to, or snap while you try to clean them. All right. So now that you've cleaned your orchid leaves, they're looking very shiny. Not the underside just yet, but I'll do that. Um, you can even tell this new leaf looked really shiny to begin with, but now. Look how shiny it is, it's reflecting the light. It's very, very shiny. Um, even these leaves that were duller, they are reflecting light somewhat better, actually. So that is pretty much it. That's how to clean an orchid's leaves. Now remember, also try to do the underside. And if there's any aerial roots outside of the pot, don't clean them. It's this process isn't for the roots. This is, the soap could actually um, potentially damage the roots. So this is only for the leaves, not the roots. Um, so that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to share it with anyone who you think will also enjoy it and appreciate it. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and as always, happy growing. Bye.